This morning, Morgan Stanley just releasing results. Want to get over to Leslie Picker, who's got the numbers and the details. Leslie. Hey, Andrew, yeah, just digging through these numbers here, it appears to be a miss on both the top and bottom lines, a slight miss for Morgan Stanley. They reported net revenue of $13 billion. The street was expecting about $13.3. Uh, EPS came in at $147. That was shy of about $0.02 cents compared to analyst estimates. Uh, revenue for this firm has actually beaten consensus 16 out of the past 20 quarters, so a pretty rare miss for Morgan Stanley. You can see shares ticking down slightly there. Um, just digging into their individual businesses, as this firm stands, they have about half in wealth management now, half um, in banking. Uh, wealth management actually added $65 billion in net new assets, uh, which is a Certain, definitely a bright spot, mirrored what we saw with BlackRock yesterday with uh, net new inflows there. In fact, it's about the same number. Um, they also purchased $2.6 billion uh, worth of shares during the quarter. Now, investment banking revenue uh, down 55% from a year ago. No surprise there. Due to lower levels of completed M&A transactions, fewer equity and debt underwriting volumes, as we know IPOs have basically been non-existent. Um, throughout the course of the year. Within trading, equity net revenues were down 14%. That's largely been expected, um, although it's slightly missed street estimates for Morgan Stanley specifically. Fixed income, though, that net revenue for trading was up 33%, and that was a slight beat of what the street was expecting. CET1 ratio came in at about 14.8% during the quarter. You can see shares down about 0.6% this morning in early trade. Andrew? What were you going to say, Joe? No, I was just going to say it. it I wanted to make sure that that's an. I, I saw it down a little more than that, but but it looks like a real trade, and that's not you know that's not horrible yet at this point, Leslie. Given that, that you mentioned that uh, there was a uh, a slight miss uh, on both, but the stock right. taking it in stride at least so far, and I think it is trading. Those are real trades right now. That's right. And, and Morgan Stanley has been a, a significant performer this year, obviously, with investment banking, uh, not necessarily a bright spot in the world of banking. They've still managed to kind of balance out their mix of business to still be able to produce pretty decent results. As I mentioned, the wealth management, a bright spot for them during the quarter, despite the fact that just overall the industry has been experiencing some weakness in M&A due to the limited availability of deals to close. But you know, hey, we're seeing some this morning, so maybe the future looks bright for investment banking. We'll see. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.